Well, how are you doing? Mac and Cabby here, yeah. It's going to have a big crack on about the Leicester game yesterday. Or shall I say, another complete muck up from the referee. I'm sick of going on about the refs, you know. Just absolutely sick of it. But I am seriously beginning to think that they've got something seriously against Sunderland. That they've just got this vendetta against us. I don't know why, I don't know what it is. Because it's three times on the bounce now. That load of crap for Neil getting sent off. And then that blatant handball against Stoke. And now this blatant penalty against Leicester City. What is it like? You know, I keep saying this. I mean, we, we all slag VAR off in the Premier League and all that. But I mean, how many points has Sunderland lost over the last few seasons because of incompetent referees? Absolutely just, it's just shocking. Absolutely shocking because, I mean, Sunderland, I thought last night, played immensely well. But for absolutely note. Because once again, we're up against the uh, the 12th man, which is the ref. And now the Geordies come on in the middle of the fans and come on. So he's another Mac and moaning about the referee and all that. But I'm already moaning about the referee because it actually happened. It actually These things are actually happening. I ain't just making it up. But it was just a defensive relapse which led us down last night. Um, once again, it was from a set piece corner, similar to Stoke. Just this, the, the Leicester player just jumped. There was nobody jumping with him. He was just on his own, and it just looked effortlessly for them to score. It was, it's just frustrating watching things like that happen. I mean, we've got rid of Danny Bath and that mind, but why? I know people are saying. He was on the wages were high, this and that and the other, but look at we've got rid of someone who was 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 meaty, he was muscly, he was big, he was bulky, he was a quality defender. We're missing him like a hole in the head. It's like how we're supposed to go from strength to strength when we're diluting the squad. Like you say, Ross Stewart's gone, I still didn't think we we've replaced him, to be honest with you. Um Bird's tour. Chelsea can come knocking on the door and take him back because he's absolutely He's, he's, he's cack. He's rubbish. He's absolutely rubbish. I mean, we've gone from a mad Diallo to Burstow. I mean, honest to God, it's just like people say, give him time, give him time. I'm not having that give him time. He's on loan. We haven't got time. You know, every game he's playing, he's just non existent. I mean, I'm looking on social media when the match was on last night, um, and everybody's saying, what does, he, what does he bring to the squad? What does he actually do? He's anonymous. You know, we're all excited when we're seeing him and all that. It's like, oh, Chelsea, please come and get him. You know what I mean? He's, he's just, he's awful. He's not the answer. And, um, you know, we've got the likes to say Russian and stuff on the be on the bench and, and things like that. For that. I don't know. But I thought the lads... They played well, but it means now, does it? You've still come away from now. I mean, there's a little bit of confidence there because of the fact that like, we did play well. Um, we just didn't have our shooting boots on last night. I mean, the amount of shots we were taking that were just like metres over the bar. They were just not on target, anything but. You know, either Leicester City just didn't feel threatened by us and they, they just took their foot off the gas which made us look better than what we actually were. I don't know, I mean, Patterson made some really good saves. It could have been a cricket score if it wasn't for him. But, you know, it's the same scenario again, isn't it? Every single bloody season we seem to say the same thing. You know, we haven't got a striker. We haven't got anyone that can put the ball in the net. You know, that's the trouble. The chances we're getting and we're just not scoring from them. I mean, really, we, we deserved the point last night. I, I wouldn't. I mean, even the Leicester fans are saying we're the hardest team we've played. What does that say? But we're slipping down the table. We're slipping down quicker than Michael Douglas's trousers and all the movies he's been in. I mean, it's, we've got to start picking up points and.
it's just putting pressure on the manager because I mean we've got Norwich on Saturday and if we didn't get three points there and if we lose you know there's going to be starting to be questions asked not only is it four defeats on the top but we've lost the likes against Stoke who were in terrible form Norwich are in terrible form but once again is it fine margins as well because like I say the referees they've just been absolutely awful they've cost us they've cost us those games could have been a different story and it could have been talking to something different completely. But we need to get that winning feeling back <coughs> and um, Mowbray needs to just take some responsibility aside with the, with the, the squad he's picking and all. I mean, I think we've got better players on that bench, to be quite honest with you, sitting there. I mean... Give Rig a good run up, give, give, give Rig a good run out, give Russian a good run out. Get them out there. You know what I mean? There's players that have like signed for the club that want to play for us. Not the likes of Burst or that, that by the looks of it just couldn't give a crap. He just looks totally disinterested. I don't know. It's it's weird though because the defeat yesterday, I didn't feel as nowhere he was down as what I did against Stoke. Because I think we, sh we should have beat Stoke, with, you know, but Leicester, you know, they're, they're flying. You, know, you might as well deliver the trophy to them because they're up, aren't they? You know, and good luck to them because they're, they're a good club, great fans, they've been through a lot. Um, and good luck to them for the rest of the season. But we just sound like a broken record. Strikers, 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 strikers. It's like, are the owners not listening to us? What, what, what's the matter like? I don't know. Just like I say, it puts unnecessary pressure on Saturday now. Like the fans, they want to see a good performance. We need, we need a win. We need that three points. We need the win and feeling back. Well, I'm just about to pick somebody up in my taxi. But it sounds daft saying well done lads yesterday because they did. They played some good football. And I looked at Patrick Roberts' interview at the end of the game and um, he looked frustrated, didn't he? He looked frustrated. So there we go. Let us know in your comments below what you reckon. I know everybody's done reviews and this and that and the other, but it's nice to have different... Um, perspectives from different Sunland fans and YouTubers. We'll see you later. Bye bye.